Hey ladies, welcome back to The Woman Podcast. We are approaching Christmas and here at The Woman Podcast and with New Life Church, we are doing an Advent plan together. So today is day five. If you are just joining in, go back and listen to the first four. Um, But what we do is we just read the scriptures together and then we read the devotional. Um, It's very simple, but very encouraging. So I hope that you will... um, invite someone else to do this along with you and if you're looking for this plan um, we'll put it in the show notes but you just type in he shall reign advent on your bible app in the plans and it's pretty easy to find so here we go day five of our advent plan the first section of scripture we're going to read is luke chapter 1 verses 26 through 38 and i'm reading this in the niv in the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. And he will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. And the angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. And Mary answered, I am the Lord's servant. May your word to me be fulfilled. And the angel left her. Okay, and our next scripture passage to read is Genesis chapter 18, verse 12 through 15. NIV. And it said, So Sarah laughed to herself as she thought, And am I worn out? And my Lord is old? Will I now have this pleasure? Then the Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh and say, Will I really have a child now that I am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? I will return to you at the appointed time next year, and Sarah will have a son. Sarah was afraid, so she lied, and she said, I did not laugh. But he said, Yes, you did laugh. The Bible's funny sometimes. Okay, so here's our devotional for the day. Throughout scripture, we see different reactions to the presence and power of God. Moses fell to his face in awe at the Lord's voice. Adam and Eve quickly turned from comfort to shame in his presence. Jonah grew angry at God's mercy, and Sarah chose to laugh when told that she would finally have a son. Like Sarah, maybe you can relate to realizing difficult times have hardened your heart to God's goodness. Maybe her laughter came from bitterness, or maybe it was a disbelief because only she knew how to wait instead of walk in promise. In Mary, we found a very different reaction to God's promise. Similar to Sarah, she was in a time where there had been a lot of waiting, but not a lot happening in the way of miracles. She would have been raised in the period called the 400 years of silence. Waiting for God to speak would have been her normal. It's what she knew. But as the angel began to tell her God's plan to bring the Savior into the world, Mary chose to trust God with her questions and align her response with His promises rather than her feelings. Throughout Scripture, there had been promises to the family line of Abraham that one day a king would be born into their family who would bring salvation to the earth. Like Sarah and Mary, we have a choice in how we respond to God's Word. What will be the posture of your heart and mind? 
when God moves in your life. While music is not the only way to worship, it's a helpful method to direct our hearts and minds to total recognition of Jesus. So I encourage you today, take 10 minutes in your car or maybe at home and listen to a few worship songs. Let them reframe your mindset toward how God is moving in this season.